How can you turn anything and anyone you touch into gold? Bless a woman. Bless a woman. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Carla Eli Show. I'm your host, Carla Eli, and I'm here to guide you towards wisdom so that you may unlock a life of abundance by mastering the feminine balance. Let's get into today's flow. But before we do so, go ahead and like and subscribe if you are enjoying the show. And if you are a Spotify listener, please, please, please interact with the polls because what you say matters to me. I'm here to serve you. So let me give you the best experience while I'm on here. But in order for me to serve you, I need to know what you're liking and what you're not liking. Without further ado, let's get into it. In today's episode, I'm going to tell you the secrets of how I turn anything I touch into gold. And gold doesn't necessarily mean money. Obviously, money does come with blessing other people, but that's the secret. The way that you can turn anything you touch, anyone you touch into gold is by blessing them. And what do I mean by blessing them? By being a blessing in their life. That's what I mean. And we're going to be diving into this concept of like, how can I bless someone when I don't even have the power to do so? And I'm here to challenge that belief system. Anybody can apply this and they're going to see results. Don't believe me? Try yourself. I started to notice a pattern within my own life of just abundance and success. And I was like, okay, how can I teach my ladies to replicate this same strategy? How can I teach them how to apply these systems in their own day to day? So I'm going to give you three things that I do on a daily basis that allows for other people to turn into gold. And the first one is blessing other women with your words, with your time, and with your finances. What I started to notice was the more that I spent on the women around me, might that be my mom or my grandma um, or my sister, somehow that money would come back to me. Somehow that blessing would return and come back to me in one way or another. Recently, I've been taking my grandma out a little bit more. So we either go on dates, I take her out for brunch, I uh, pay for her facials. I do all of these things and I do it because it comes from the heart. It truly does. I love my grandma so much. My grandma is always going to be such an important figure in my life, but I make sure to save the time to make sure that she knows how important she is to me and in my life. And I kid you not, I kid you not, my finances started to increase the moment that I started to spend money on other women, the moment that I started to bless other women with my own finances. And you don't have to spend money to bless someone. You can also bless someone with your words. You can compliment them. You can acknowledge something that they've changed in their life that has helped them grow tremendously and say, wow, I noticed that you started to work out. I noticed that you stopped being so toxic or stopped being so negative. I just want to congratulate you on that. Or thirdly, just truly have lips to bless other women. It doesn't necessarily have to be a compliment, acknowledgement. It could just ask them, how are you doing? And being a listening ear to them and understanding them. That's how you can bless these women. The second thing that I do to create anything I touch into gold is giving other women work opportunities creating economies for other women. And this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to pay them directly. But for example, every single woman that has attended my podcast before, it it used to be called Becoming Her. I would always start the podcast with saying, I see this person doing amazing things. I see this person really blowing up on social media. So much so that when I said that, it's been coming true. Every single woman that has attended the podcast has been achieving amazing things. One most recently was on a TED Talk, for example. And I knew that she had that capacity of doing that, but I allowed her to believe that within herself, and now she's doing amazing things. So I don't know what it is, but if you're having a conversation with me, all I can tell you is good things are bound to come. And what I think happens is that I affirm women's beliefs already of how they view themselves, but I just allow them to truly believe that and soak it up, which leads me to my third point. The way that you can turn anything you touch into gold is 
believing in people, seeing potential and affirming that potential. So whenever I'm talking to different people or specifically with women, right, I'm always so encouraging. I'm always so like, girl, like you can do whatever it is that you set your mind to. And not only do I verbally state that, but I help them integrate those systems that I have personally integrated into my own life. And I help them kind of like unblock themselves from that limiting belief. And that brings so much blessing because then they're like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. And the moment that they start to upscale themselves, they turn back and they thank you because they realize that all they needed was this little push for someone to believe in them for success to happen. And truly, truly, when you are here to serve, when you are here to be of service to your community and to other women, everything you touch turns into gold. Everything you touch turns into gold because you are a visionary. You take people's imagination, people's fantasies, and you put it in a realistic plan or realistic form that it can manifest itself and come true. You do When you can do that for people, everything and anyone that comes across you is going to be blessed by you. And it's simply because you are positioning yourself from a place of service. When you decide to give other women opportunities such as these, it seriously, one comes true, but two comes back to you. And I don't, I didn't do any of that so that it could come back to me. I just started realizing that, wow, the energy that I put out truly comes back to me. Whenever I had these guests come onto the podcast, I also showed them that there is a level of safety and community within me. It allowed reassurance to be at the forefront of whatever we were creating, allowing them to honestly grow exponentially, which is such a blessing because I don't see them as competition. I don't see other content creators or other people who are making it big on social media as competition. On the contrary, I always say, how can I help you? How can I serve you? How can my services be in line with yours so that we can help your community, your business grow. You can also apply this to relationships, by the way, because one thing that I always kept hearing from men that I would date or men that I would be with in past relationships, they would always come to me and tell me the same thing. It's just, there's no one else like you. It's just when I was with you, good things happened to me all the time. And it's because I understood this rule, bless a woman and you can turn anything you touch into gold let go of jealousy, envy, all of these awful things, manipulation, and you will see that everything will come back to you in a broader scheme of things and a much in such a big gift. So if you apply this concept in relationships as well, like seriously, by blessing other women, your relationships will stem from abundance and love. Think about it. Like seriously, think about it. If you place yourself and position yourself from love, abundance, prosperity, peace, and joy, what do you think is going to come back to you? The same thing. But you can't expect these things to flourish from your heart if they're not even there in the first place. There has to be some cleaning house in, in your heart, in your soul, in order for you to start seeing this level of abundance. So the main point here is, how can you turn Anything and anyone you touch into gold, bless a woman. Bless a woman. Use your life to be a blessing. And the only way that you can use your life to be a blessing or for good is if you are healthy within yourself. You need to let go of control, envy, jealousy, and competition. That's the only way that you can be a blessing and of service to other people. The moment that you stop thinking about you, 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 and you, and you start thinking about the woman that you're here to serve or the community that you're here to serve, that's when you start creating economies, love, and opportunities. And that's how you can make anything you touch or you come across turn into pure gold. And another thing I should mention before we close out is In order for you to be able to bless women, you need to let go of the resentment that you might have towards women. That might be your mom, your sister, your grandma, or just the women around you. If you hold this resentment, you need to learn how to let go and forgive them so that you can start blessing other women around you. And with that being said, ladies, be wise.